What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create horror cinematic looks in Vegas Pro 16. Now in order to achieve this effect, all we're going to be using is built-in plugins with Vegas Pro. So you don't need to download everything, everything will already be in your Vegas. So here we are in Vegas Pro 16, and I'm just going to expand the video here and play it through. So you can see, this is what we're going to be working with. Of course right now, doesn't look scary at all. So the first thing you're going to be doing is heading over to video effects. If you don't see it, simply head over to view, select windows layout and select default layout. Now once you're on video effects, you wanna select color curves and from here you wanna select night. So simply drag and drop this onto your video. Straight away, this is now what we've got. So it's completely changed up your scene. Now bear in mind, you can keep it like this. However, I do like to make a slight bit of adjustment. For example, I want the red to come up a bit more, so you can see it's more of a red tint on it, so I want that, and also the green, I'll bring it down a little bit, just like this, and then for the blue, I'm going to bring it down as well. So what it's done is basically desaturated the colours, and just playing it through, you can see it's giving it more of a cold feeling, like that. The next thing you're going to be doing, again on video effects, is heading over to color balance. And this one I recommend adding on the red mid-tone. So just drag and drop this onto your video. This is what we're going to get. However, we're not going to keep like this. So of course we only add it on the red tones, and we're simply going to bring down the red tones. This step is completely optional by the way, however I do like having a slight red tint on the horror effect. So you can see it's now looking like this. So this is before that's after very very subtle effect however i do think it looks a lot better now of course whilst being on video effects there's one more thing we're going to be adding on and that is soft contrast so scroll down it'll be close to the bottom as you can see it's right here and what you're going to be adding on is warm vague net so just drag and drop this onto your clip as you can see this is now what we've gotten however on the effect aspect i'm going to turn everything off the thing you can keep on is the tint if you would like it so if you want to keep it at the red, then of course you can turn up the tint if you want it on or not. Completely optional, I'm going to have mine set to off. Then we're going to head over to the vignette section, and now this is where we have control over these black edges. So of course by default it has taken up too much of the video, making it very very difficult to see. So what I'm going to be doing is turning down the strength, and you can see naturally it does have dark edges anyway. So I'm just going to do that. And then you also get vignette shape. Now if you select this, you can see you get rectangle or ellipse. So you can see it's now created more of that oval shape going like this direction. Or you can just have the simple rectangle, which is a rectangle. But then you can also change the way the exterior is affected. So right now it's set to black. You can set it to a blur, which does look pretty good. And I would recommend that for this type of a uh, horror effect. Or you could have white. I would recommend white, but make sure it isn't too strong like this, as you can see. And then, of course, you've got transparent. So, again, completely optional. However, the top two are blur and black, and they are the ones I would recommend for you to use. Now, once you're happy with that, we can X out of it. I'm just going to turn down the preview quality, and I recommend you do the same. And we can just play it through. And as you can see, this is now what we've gotten. So it has created much more of a horror feeling than before. Now also, it does play a role when you use the correct sound effects, the correct music. Now if you want to know where the best sites are to get non-copyrighted music, I did make a video about this earlier on this week, so definitely head over to the description and check it out. Now I'm just going to show you before and after, so what I'm going to do is select this button to split the screen. So what we have on the left is before, what we have on the right is after. You can see there is a huge difference. On the left, it's very subtle, it's very calm. It doesn't look horror at all and then on the right we do then desaturate the colors make it darker and of course adding some red tones just to emphasize it is horror but like i mentioned as well as the visuals looking good it does then add to the music and the sound effects you use to make it much more of a horror look